Hello, my name is Adam Winrich, and this video is about Bullock Whips. That's Bullock, as in Sandra Bullock. I mentioned this in some of my earlier videos, and here's a video just about the Bullock Whip. So what on earth is a Bullock Whip? Well, first, Bullock is an Australian term for ox. So this is basically my recreation of a traditional Australian ox team whip, and generally, basic generalization they're gonna have about a five foot handle and then about an eight foot thong I think that's what they use in the Australian competitions it's basically made like a giant stock whip and actually the handle length can vary depending on the height and size of the person uh, in Australia sometimes they just cut a stick out of the bush that'd be like the woods and use whatever they can this handle I actually uh, made out of bamboo and I paid five dollars for this handle, but later I found out I could have got it free. I was bamboozled. Eh? Joke. No, actually I got this bamboo for free from my friend Rush Pearson who lives in Plannersville, Texas. So I like bamboo because it's uh, stiff, not a lot of give to it. In Australia, in the whip cracking competitions, they'll usually use cane that has some flex. And then the thong on this one, this is actually a 10 foot uh, stock whip thong. It's a 10 foot from the keeper to the end of the twist. It's a 12 plat with a 10 plat belly. Not a lot of people make bullock whips, so you may just want to try to make your own or go to a whip maker and have them make you an eight to 10 foot long stock whip thong and then tie that onto the handle yourself. I just used uh, some one inch nylon webbing and bound it onto the end of the bamboo. So that's basically what a bullock whip is. That's how I made this one. And the easiest way to crack a bullock whip, I would say, as you put your non-dominant hand on the bottom and your dominant hand here kind of towards the middle and anchor, so I'm dominantly right-handed. So my left hand will be by my hip and I use my right hand to control the whip and I'm mostly using my body. So I'm just gonna do an overhead crack. So you can see my arms didn't move a whole lot. I'm mostly twisting with my legs and my hips. The nice thing about the Bullock Whip is that it's usually yeah, they're larger, they're longer, they make a big visual, which is nice, and they don't take as much wrist strength, I think, or as uh, arm shoulder strength as some other whips. Then you do the overhead crack and the reverse. Now whips of this type, say with a longer handle and a longer thong, are used in, all around the world. There are whips like this were, that were used in the American frontier to drive uh, bull trains or teams of oxen that were transporting goods. Uh, they also use a whip like this in the Apperschnauzen competitions in southern Germany where they crack it just like I did there with two hands, overhead and reverse overhead. But probably the uh, Australian version of the bullet whip is the easiest one to do uh, various cracks with. So the other question, what other cracks can you do with a bullet whip? So I'll run through some basic ones. Uh, cattleman's crack. Oops, not a crack. There we go. Do that one, underhand flick. Overhand flick. Here's one that I don't know the name of. Uh, that's the reverse cattleman's. That's an easy one. And then after those single cracks, you can kind of do a bit of a freestyle. Do your fast figure eights. Volley. Breakaway. Do uh, arrowhead. Force the four corners. Bring around behind your back.
that's cracking a bullet whip. My name is Adam Winrich. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me at info at winrichwhips.com. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.